Hey everybody, it's Jack and Dan. What's up guys, we're doing a quick update on the beta tanks over here. A lot of people have been asking, hey, how things have been going with Wade Wilson and Mary Bromfield. And uh, she kind of got a little too saucy and Wade's really, he's kind of going down. And so what we did here, we're gonna do some close-ups here, but we turned our man cave into a little she shed and put Mary down here. So we're gonna flip this around, take a look at what we did here, man. I think I might be taller than you. You think so? Yeah, I think I, think I am. You ain't taller than me yet. Yeah, I think I am. No, you're not. All right, so we're gonna start up here with Wade's tank. We got the lights off in the room and his lights are on. And this tank just continues to do awesome. Some of the moss that's been growing back that we got like two years ago over here, it just kind of comes and goes periodically. Probably depending on if it has enough nutrients, like if the, you know, pothos are taking it away or whatever. But anyway, the mystery snails are doing awesome in here. We did a time lapse a little bit ago and that came out really, really fun. It always does. These crypts that uh, Terrace Tropical Tanks gave us are starting to propagate. You can see these little guys. Isn't that cool, dude? This side specifically, what we might do is this tiny little light that we got up here, we might like get either another one or just switch it on either side of the bamboo once in a while. Um, so that this one, but this one's propagating a little bit too. It's just a little darker. Anyway, there's Wade and he is um, in the back and he's doing pretty good. He just really is slowing down and he just kind of hangs out in the roots and kind of sleeps, but he does still eat and everything. But Mary's just a beast, isn't she, man? Yes, she is. She's always been a beast. And she just kind of was bothering them to the point where we didn't think it was cool. Um, so a lot of you guys know who watch our channel, we initially made a, what we call the man cave, right? Yes. And initially we made this man cave for him in case they did reproduce. And then if, you know, the babies were born or if they had babies, then we were able to bring him down here. Um, we used to have this big, huge rock. This is a really cool sand rock. It was actually in my first tank when I was five years old, 45 years ago, and we pretty much always had it in a tank since then. Um, but we had it kind of over here and the pothos and stuff, and Jack saw this. We were, we're actually at Petco because they had a huge sale on glowfish. And we said, you know what? We've been wanting to get more glowfish for the uh, Green Lantern tank. And they had like a, what was it? Buy two, get one free kind of thing or something? Yeah, I believe so. That was awesome. <clears throat> so we got a bunch more glowfish and really stocked that tank up nice. And he saw this and he goes, this would be perfect for the man cave. Um, and we actually got it uh, quite a few weeks ago before we decided to do this. But we decided that Wade would be better over there having the roots to kind of help him, you know, hang out and stuff since he's slowing down. And Mary's an awesome swimmer and she's doing pretty good. Now, when we did this initial video, a couple of people made comments that you know, they thought that they were fighting because of the shreddedness of her uh, fins. And we've made it clear, not only in that video, but many other previous videos that we've done on Mary, that she is a crown tail. And a lot of people aren't used to seeing the traits necessarily in the female beta, but she's a very special girl, isn't she, dude? Yes. She, she has very dominant genes, and her crown tail genes came through. That's one of the reasons we right, wanted that's to breed not her. Like, that's not like because of damage. That's just because of the wispiness of the skeletal like fin. Yeah, that's that's how crown tails are. And a lot of times the females don't necessarily show the traits, but she's one that did. Look how she's looking right at us. She's such a tough lady. She's like, err. The other thing is people made a couple comments about her being bloated. We also mentioned in several videos that she has been bloated and that we did treat her for parasites several times and that it just never really seemed to work. And quite honestly, it never slowed her down. She's always been incredibly active. She always eats good. She goes to the bathroom. There really isn't any problem with her. So we basically decided to stop treating her and she's been fine. And I think the last time we even tried to treat her was six or seven months ago. And she hasn't gotten any more bloated. She just seems to be fine. So she's been digging this she shed and, you know, we put the little couch. Kind of looks like the Simpsons, doesn't it? <laughs> we got a couch, we got a, a recliner, we got a TV for her. And you can see in the thumbnail, she does quite often come over here and sit in front of it. And sometimes she'll even rest on there. And so we took a little thumbnail picture of her to kind of show her. Now there are also about six auto synchless in here with her. You can see one of them right there. They kind of hang out around the castle and well, a little gnome house here. If you've never seen the video that we made, we basically made a 
DIY under gravel filter for this tank and we hid the stack inside the house and drilled a hole through the chimney so that the air comes out. It's a really simple design to do. We just took a couple old pieces of grate, put them together, basically super glued a stack on it, threw a stone down there. We have had this tank together with these auto sinkless for well over a year, never done a water change, never cleaned it. It's so easy to maintain. It's a little five gallon deal that we got from one of our neighbors who was gonna throw it out and we cleaned it up and fixed it. So if you've never seen that video, we'll put a link in the description, but she seems to love it in here. She goes around the house, she goes by the furniture and her and the autos get together fine. This is not heated at all, but we do kind of heat this room. So these two beta tanks are you know, around 70 degrees, uh, 65 to 70. We do have a big space heater over there because we don't want the pond to freeze. You can see the goldfish are getting pretty big in there, by the way, they all go up there at nighttime and they're getting real big. And again, it is a cold water pond, but we didn't want it to be like freezing. And since this is my office and it does face south and the sun comes in and we have a space heater, you know, the water stays around 68 to 70 degrees. So anyway, you'll notice in here as well that we wanted to point out that some of this pothos that was coming down into this tank broke off. Um, sometimes when the light changes in the winter time and stuff like that, pieces don't get enough light over here on this side and they actually broke off. But the cool part is it started growing aside. Now, a few weeks ago when we did an update on this, there were two of these leaves that took root. And as you can see, one of them kind of got bigger and started growing, the other one died off. I wanted to show the roots on this bay. You can see where the other stuff died off. Look at the roots going into this gravel from that pothos basically just from a leaf that broke off. Now it does look like if you look at the bottom there, that another branch is gonna start separating and growing. So that's just what Pothos does. Now over here was another piece that fell off and you can see that it started growing a bunch of roots in the soil, which is super cool. And right here at the tip, it looks like there is some leaves starting to grow off there. So that'll be interesting to see what happens to that one. And then this was another piece that again was basically a leaf and we just kind of tucked it kind of like one of those corner plants you would have like in your living room right yeah so this is her little living room and we just tucked this and you can see in the reflection there that um i'm gonna see if i can get it from like the top oh there it is well i kind of startled her she's like what are you doing so there she is she's hanging on her couch um look at all the roots coming off that thing so tiny little leaf Oh, she's going behind it now. She's scared because I'm on top. Isn't that cool though? So roots coming off that little piece of pothos, going into the gravel. There's one leaf coming off one end, the other side's branching off. This is really neat. So this is turning into a nice little she shed for her. She'll probably come out. She probably got a little startled when I put the camera on top. So we feed her. We put like an algae wafer in here once a week or so for these auto sink lists. They're pretty small, but they're doing really good. And we put a big, huge algae wafer and they eat it over the course of a week or so. And again, just an awesome, easy little tank. And uh, we're just gonna leave her in here. She's doing really good. Now, what we did with this one, this was the princess tank that we had previously had. I'm gonna sit down on the floor here for her. And what we did, it's full of nitrate snails, as you can see. And if you've never seen the build of this tank, this was super fun. We did the same thing. We put a small sponge filter and we took this castle and basically turned it into a filter and made a beach theme. And this was an old detergent container that we buried. It actually has a light under it. So when this light turns off in the night, this actually glows because we have a light underneath this stand and you can see it kind of come through here, but it's really neat. And this was the princess tank that she originated from, but we decided not to put her back in here because we kind of rescued a little tiny female beta. Oh, there she is in the back. We went to Petco, like we said, to get they had a glowfish sale and we wanted to restock the Green Lantern tank. And they had, they have like four of these green female betas in there, but they were like mixed in with the Tetra, remember? Yeah. And they were, again, we don't want to rip on this store and everything like that and start all that stuff, but they were really bad. In fact, a couple of them were dead and a couple of them are on their way. And this little lady right here, who Jack has decided to name Gamora, cause she's green and we love Gamora, right? <laughs> Everybody knows yeah. we love Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. This little lady was pretty beat up, 
but we put her in here and we just put like some general cure in here and it doesn't look like she's getting any infection. It looks like she's healing and she is just the cutest little, look at her under the umbrella, how cute is that? She is the cutest little female beta ever. She's tiny and she is a green glow beta and we didn't want to put her in with the glow fish. We don't really care if she glows or not. We just kind of wanted to give her a good life and she is healing and she's swimming around here with her little nitrates, nitrate, nit, near, talking about nitrates, uh, nearite snails. And so there's a lot of nearite snails in here, as you can see. Now, what we did do is we did put a heater in here. Um, she did come from a heated tank and we thought, you know what, it'll probably help her heal a little better. We put that heater back in here that Hyger gave us, that tiny little heater. This is a 10 gallon tank. We got it at 77, a little warmer. And the nearite snails seem to like it a little warmer anyway, don't they, dude? Where's that one? Oh, there, there's a little horned one that goes up here. This one's getting bigger, little horned nearite snail. Uh, when we first got that little dude, he was about maybe a third of that size, tiny little pin drop. And he's getting big and runs around. And then of course we have all these other ones. We've got tiger ones and we've got, you know, the striped ones and everything else. And so they kind of simulate the beach balls, right? So we did notice she came over here and checked out the chair. She has not laid down in the chair yet but she does like kind of going under the umbrella and she has gone in the little castle because actually there's room um, around the filter to go in that castle and it's hollow. So we're really happy that we were able to help Gamora and give her a good home. There is some mom and stuff in here. We really haven't cleaned it that much. We'll probably do a little quick vac. We just haven't done it and there hasn't been anything in here but some snails. Um, the other thing is, is we have some kind of exciting news. The Galaxy Plecos actually laid eggs for the first time, right? Yes. So we're gonna have a video coming up about that and we may take those babies and put them in here. Um, she's really tiny and I don't think she'll be interested at all. So we kind of thought we might leave some of this mom and stuff in here just for those guys to chow down. And obviously we have some, you know, we'll put algae wafers and things like that, but they may not hatch because it's their first time ever. We did get that female about six months ago when we went to something fishy. And it's really interesting. So we'll see. There is about a dozen eggs and we'll be doing a video on that soon. And if they do hatch, we actually made a little makeshift nursery in the in the uh, tank for that. But uh, we'll probably end up transferring those guys in here instead of staying in there with the angelfish and all that. And this will be a great little home for some baby galaxy plecos until they grow out. And I think they'll be fine with Gamora in here. Yeah, she's kind of a little bit shy. I'll try to zoom in a little bit more. She's such a she's such a cute, cute little little girl. So Lacey and George are able to come up here and look at her, and she looks at them because this is the low tank, and it's really neat. So it continues to do really well, and everybody seems happy in their three tanks, and we will probably end up this winter working on that tank and make it something because we may end up with some who knows more baby plecos or baby angelfish or something like that so we'll probably get going on that tank because it's kind of just been sitting and uh that way this whole rack will be full and it'll have all all four tanks look how that looks from down here how it shines up on the ceiling isn't that cool all right so we just want to do a quick little follow-up on how all these three betas were doing and we're gonna put some of this in here for her again. We did like an initial dose and we're gonna do a dose. This is just, just like kind of general cure. It's like one packet per 10 gallons, which is perfect because that's a 10 gallon tank. And we put one in and wait a couple of days, we're gonna put another one and just kind of keep an eye on her. We don't want to get an infection or anything. It, it, it was kind of sad that they had the beta with the Tetra, especially because some of those long fin Tetra, like they're big. Yeah. You guys will see, we're gonna do a Christmas video again on the Green Lantern tank with like some Christmas music and stuff. Um, like we did last year, we did like the sugar plum fairies. We'll probably do something different. There's a lot of fish in that tank now. It's doing really well. We we love that tank. It's like one of our favorite tanks. But you, you can't take tiny little beta and put them at like big, huge tetra. Like they're going to attack them. So we're glad that we got her. Hopefully she survives. Um, and we, we have her in this tank and we'll see how everything goes. So be on the lookout. We're going to be doing that follow-up, like we said, on the angelfish tank. And what's going on with the galaxies because they did finally breed, so that's pretty exciting. It's the first time for that young lady, and those eggs might not even be good or anything, but 
We'll see. Well, it's, it's, it's exciting, yeah. It is, and maybe these will be great little tanks for those because Connor over there at Best of Pets already told us, I want those babies. So <laughs> so if they grow out, he, he's got first dibs. So uh, we'll see you next time, guys. Take care and uh, have a great day. Say bye to everybody, Mary. What are you going to do tonight? Sit on the couch, watch some TV, eat some chips. <laughs> This has such a grumpy face. There he goes. <laughs>